are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about ESPN. Very quickly, make sure you grab your ESP CNN shirt, the worldwide leader in woke, out of our merch store. Channel memberships are available for the channel as well. Kurt Herbstreet, not been a great year for uh, ESPN's flagship college football analyst, a former Ohio State Buckeye, by the way. Now, I'll talk a little bit about Michigan after we talk about what Herbstreet said here because I am a Michigan Wolverines fan, and it's been a fucking shitty year. I'm just going to be honest. It's been a terrible year for Wolverines. But, but, there's one thing that can't be questioned, and we'll talk about this. Herb Street last night on the college football ranking show, and it's been a bad year for Herbie. As we know, he came out earlier in the year, and he bawled like a complete beta about racial injustice, the false narrative of racial injustice and police brutality, and made a complete idiot out of himself, and he did it again last night, and was completely irresponsible, by the way flew off the handle and has now had to issue an apology video. And, and I'll show you that apology video in a minute. Uh, he came out during the, pro, uh, the uh, college football ranking show last night, and he said that they, the Michigan Wolverines were going to duck and dodge the Ohio State Buckeyes. This is what he said. Michigan will... Wave the white f- flag and duck the rivalry game. I still think Michigan waves the white flag, potentially avoids playing Ohio State next week, and they potentially get a game on the 19th. Herb Street said, that is fair. David, he's talking to Pollock. Michigan could opt out, basically, of that game and keep Ohio State short of the six games to qualify for the Big Ten Championship. That doesn't make sense to me. And uh, so, now, he came back and he issued an apology because what he said was just blatantly irresponsible. And we'll get to COVID and all that shit after that. Let's play the video now. Hey, guys. um, Just wanted to just uh, speak for a second about some comments that I made earlier tonight on our college football uh, ranking show, made made some comments about Michigan, about the potential of them waving a white flag and and intentionally trying to avoid playing Ohio State by just saying, hey, we have too many cases and and we're going to opt out. Um, I have no business at all saying that. I have no evidence of that. It was completely unfair to the University of Michigan, uh, to Jim Harbaugh, to his players and coaches, and I just wanted to apologize. Okay, so he comes out and he releases it totally cringy another totally cringy apologizing video and he should motherfucker you should apologize for this because it was irresponsible look without doubt something is wrong with michigan's program right now i am a big jim harbaugh fan because and i'll tell you i've got the unique uh perspective of having been a night i'm a niners fan and i'm a wolf wolverines fan so I've got a lot of experience with Jim Harbaugh. And what I know about Jim Harbaugh is he is arguably the most competitive coach in all of sports. Everything he does is wildly competitive. He's not afraid of a fight. He's not afraid of putting his football team out there for a fight. Now, does that mean Jim Harbaugh is able to fight the powers at that 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 the Michigan Wolverine program and the Big Ten, the powers that are going to keep them from maybe going into lockdown, they've got a lunatic governor named Whit- Whitmer in Michigan who used COVID and the Big Ten to try to hurt President Trump. Okay? Look, that's that's an effort that Jim Harbaugh... There's nothing he can do about that. Nothing. Michigan's having some some coronavirus issues right now. Is that is it ridiculous? Considering uh, how little the effect is on the age of of 
of world class athletes, Division One big time athletes, that virus, yeah, it's an absolute overreaction. It's an absolute overreaction. They should all be playing their games. The look, Herb Street brought this up because it looked like Florida State dodged Clemson the other day. Frankly, I think they did. Because they didn't want to get the brakes beat off of them. I think they did. But to compare Florida State and Michigan, look at Florida State's coach. Now look at Jim Harbaugh. He's a lunatic. He's a lunatic. He's a dog. Regardless of how you feel about Jim Harbaugh's coaching style or where he is as a coach, the one unquestioned thing that you cannot, that you can't, he is competitive. He wants a fight. He wants a fight. And Kurt Herbstreet, this was wildly repugnant. This was irresponsible. This was an irresponsible statement to insinuate. Look, to insinuate if, if the Michigan football program decides they can't play because of the coronavirus, you're coming out and saying they're doing it because they're dodging Ohio State competitively? Are you nuts? Are you a lunatic? Are you a lunatic? Now, look, as big a fan as I am of Jim Harbaugh, this is it. I don't think Jim Harbaugh survives. The, he's going to get through this season, and I think Jim's gone. I might be wrong. Uh, he chose poorly. He has chosen poorly when it comes to quarterback. He's a former quarterback. He kind of was a quarterback guru, uh, having been with Andrew Luck and the way he reshaped Alex Smith's career in San Francisco. But much like the years before Harbaugh, the Wolverines have struggled to find a great quarterback. Milton is terrible. Milton is terrible. Shea Patterson wasn't good. Wasn't good. I don't give a shit if the NFL did take a look at him. The last truly serviceable quarterback is a guy that's still hanging around in the NFL on practice squads is Jake Rudock. And he was a pretty good quarterback. But he wasn't a great college quarterback at all. And it's my belief that Jim Harbaugh is going back to the NFL after this season's over. I may be wrong, but I think he is. I think he is. I know there's rumors up around the Jets about Jim Harbaugh, and I think that is a terrible place for Jim to go. With his attitude, with his fiery attitude, that media, terrible place. Herb Street let his own fandom... His own Ohio State, I hate Michigan fandom, get in the way of him being objective and being able to put his, his loyalty to the Buckeyes aside and coming up with some conspiracy theory that the most competitive coach in college football was going to dodge Ohio State. And look, I'm sure Jim Harbaugh knows that's a 45-3 to loss. Ohio State will beat the brakes off the Wolverines. They will. And I'm a Wolverines fan. They will. But Jim Harbaugh is certainly not going to dodge Ohio State. Absolutely ridiculous. It's a horseshit take. It's a terrible take in a year where Herb Street is giving nothing but terrible takes. Now, could Michigan's governor end football in Michigan this week? Yeah, that lunatic certainly could. We know this Democratic leadership wants to lock down the country again so badly. It's a thing. They want to lock down the country so badly. And uh, look, she, she doesn't have to worry about anything right now. Although, I will tell her this. Shit. You lock down football in Michigan... And it comes back around for you to run for governor. Good luck. The problem with the Big Ten right now is they should have come out and started the season when the SEC did. Because now they're running into flu season when the virus is going to kick up some. Still talking about world-class athletes. These guys aren't going to die from the coronavirus. They're not. They're not. Ridiculous. Another terrible take. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. 
Herb Street looks terrible this year. He looks terrible, but he has given some wildly terrible ass takes this year. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.